Hey everybody, today I'll be going over Bitcoin, mostly focusing on the short term, but I'll also be taking a look at some of the larger time frames. We are going to get a new weekly open later today, meaning we're going to make some progress on this weekly time frame here. And depending on how things look over the next couple days or weeks, could end up seeing this weekly money flow cross down into the negative. It is getting pretty close to it, and we are going to make some progress on that tomorrow. But we have seen before times when the weekly money flow kind of hovers right above the zero line here and never actually crosses over. So I am hoping that we see something like that over here. And Tuesday is the start of March. Last year uh, in February, we saw dumps heading into the end of the month and then things bottomed at the beginning of March and we saw a pretty good March. Now, looking at the daily time frame, it does seem like we have put in a higher low for the money flow, meaning we have the potential to continue forming this kind of half moon formation and at some point soon work our way up towards crossing over the zero line. But it does seem like the VWAP starting to curve to the downside, looking like it might cross over and we may print a red dot here soon. And because of how little we moved up since we put in this green dot, I'm not really expecting us to print any sort of bullish divergence here if we put in a new low. Because if we drop down, put in a new low, this momentum wave is probably going to end up dragging down lower. But we definitely do still have the potential to print a bullish divergence with this momentum wave back here. Because of how low this one is and because we're still sitting well above this one. So if we end up making a lower low, we still can print a bullish divergence on the daily. And we are finding resistance on this level, which was previous support. Seems like we're getting a bit of a rejection here. So it looks like we may see some downside in the short term. You can see also as we were rejecting off of this level, the 4-hour was topping out and the 4-hour money flow is continuing to put in lower lows. And one thing I like to do when I notice that we are holding strong resistance on a specific level is I'll pull up my chart that has the spider lines on it. And a lot of the time, these significant levels, when I pull up the chart, end up being spider lines as well. I made a video a few weeks ago, I believe, on how to plot these spider lines yourself. So if you're curious on how you can get these on your chart, check out that video. And I actually ended up shorting this level. Uh, like I said, I like to use these spider lines as sort of extra confirmation. You know, just one more thing that I have playing in my favor. The fact that we were rejecting off of the spider line and the four hours topping out. Plus, you could see the one hour momentum was decreasing as well. And actually, when we broke above this level slightly, we ended up printing bearish divergences here. And we were kind of trading in a bit of a triangle here. And when we broke out of it, we ended up coming up to retest it. So because of all of those confirmations, all the signs pointing to the downside, I ended up taking a short up here. And another thing that I noticed recently about this one hour, if you look at the RSIs, you can see the red one is sitting pretty high up here, but the purple one is sitting way down here. And I noticed that that looks kind of similar to back here around February 17th, where we saw the red one way up here and the purple one down here. And this just so happened to be right before we saw a substantial move to the downside. So some similarities in the RSI right now to back then. Maybe we can see a similar type of move. Now the one hour momentum wave seems like it could print a bottom here but the VWAP looks kind of weak. And what I mean by that is when you see an RSI kind of curving out like this, it typically is a sign of weakness that it could continue farther to the downside. And a good example of this is actually just back here. You saw the VWAP curving out as we were struggling to find support here, and we ended up coming much farther down as the VWAP kind of curved out and eventually did cross over. So I'm not expecting us to find a reversal off this one hour green dot. We're probably going to end up coming lower. And overall, you can see the momentum making lower highs and lower lows here. The momentum is in a downtrend, meaning we are probably going to get a downtrend as a result.
now talking about some potential support levels. We have the fib retracement from this move right here. And the golden pocket of this fib retracement actually happens to line up with this significant support level here. And if we end up coming down to this level, we could potentially form some sort of inverse head and shoulders. Also, if you take a fixed range volume profile of this previous range back here, we have a point of control sitting just above this golden pocket. So you can say this area between 37k and 36.5k is going to be pretty strong support for us. And also putting a horizontal line at the bottom of the main volume range. This kind of lines up with the 786. So I'd say all of these levels are going to be pretty significant support. It's also possible that we end up trading in some sort of triangle here and we may come down to test the bottom of it again. But if we end up making any lower lows, then we do still have this little box of support down here, which is this macro golden pocket and the yearly lows, which like I said before, if we end up coming down to this level, we could form some daily bullish divergences as we do it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. Really appreciate the support. And I will see you all on Tuesday for my next video.